How is it going everyone and welcome back to another episode of the FIFA 20 Youth Academy Legend Series with Grimsby Town. I forgot to record a proper intro for this episode so um, yeah, here's the intro. Where's the, where's the stop recording button? Where, where, I can't find it. There it is. Honestly, guys, I've just fully blanked. I don't even know what what I normally say at the start of an episode. I really don't. My brain's just gone. It's just disappeared out of existence. I suppose that's a decent way to start the episode, I suppose. Let's get on with the games. First game is being simulated. We are playing at home against Morecambe. Should be a win. Or not. And, and Henry's got injured again. Sick. He started off the season being injured and now he's injured again. And it's a 1-0 loss. And he's out for another five weeks. I think that's the same injury he had last time. Broken metatarsal. And uh, Franco Ronaldo is back from injury. But he isn't starting the game yet. Masmud Zeruel is now in the training. Or on the training. Uh, instead of Victor Pearson. Because it was him. Because he needs it, Zeruel does. More than Victor Pearson. First up, we head away to AFC Wimbledon. Of course, that is a team that Kutsi is doing his save with. Um, I'll put his channel in a link in the description below along with the link of you know the normal link I have with the channels page on that takes you to everyone's channels who are who I recommend to go and check out so um, yes here we go then AFC Wimbledon against Grimsby Town here is Masmud Zeruel of course 47 rated he is now he's gone up a rating plays it into Toby Watson Love the little turn. Toby Watson! Yes! Brilliant start to the game. Wimbledon 1, Grim Wimbledon 0, Grimsby 1. <laughs> okay, I'm, I mean, I'm expecting this to be bad, but I'm not expecting another team to score when we do. Toby Watson scores again. Brilliant, brilliant stuff. Great turn. Set up by Zeruel as well. Great turn from Watson. Smashes it in past the keeper. Oh, oh I love it's that. again. To Riley. Stabana. Great name that is. Stabana. I don't know why that's such a great name. It sort of just rolls off the tongue, doesn't it? Stabana. Very well. Oh, great stuff. Oh, not so great stuff. Here is Stabana. Oh, that's a great ball into Wordsworth. And Quezzi Appiah has equalised for Wimbledon. Brilliant. Oh, uh, well, the defence is all over the place there. And guess what? It started from Alexander Svensson giving the ball away. All right, how many times has he done that? How many goals has he cost us now? Lindstrom is such a beast in that midfield. I mean, just look at the size of him. Urgh. Wimbledon coming forward again. It's Riley. Plays it out wide to Stabana. Oh no, Rostom has lost his man. And it's Hartigan. And it's saved by Kasim. Kasim Alsard. He's been great so far, he has in goal. Wasim Rostam. Oh, Piggott, what have you done there? Oh, Svensson's nearly messed it up again. Piggott's still got the shot away. Luckily, Svensson put him off. And that really should have been a corner. Great ball. Very well. Watson. That's a great ball. Ah! Peter Price. Could still make something of that. Oh, Zeruel went for the <laughs> Zeruel went for the overhead kick. That was never gonna happen, was it? Oh no, Guinness Walker is free. Come on, Wasim Rust. Oh, um, uh, oh my god, he scored that. He actually scored. Wait, wait, what? I'm so confused. I am so confused. How did that go in? I mean, we shouldn't have really left him free on that side. Oh, Kasim. Kasim, what are you doing? Oh, Kasim. That is poor. Yeah, I'd be unhappy at that. Nice bit of passing. It's Mass Moon very well. Mass Moon very well. Oh! Here's White. He plays it to very well. 
Gets it on his left again and has another shot and it's hit the stanchion this time. He's getting closer. <laughs> Lindstrom's just been absolutely done there. We need to get forward really. Well, we've got no room. So well, plays it in for Toby Watson. He's on his weaker foot and I mean that was clear to see why. <laughs> why that's his weaker foot. Svensson, shock, didn't do something. Ross Grow, Ross Tom goes in for the challenge. Oh no, this is a good. Ah, it's offside. Anthony Woods with offside. Oh, that would have been EA's and then some. There we go. Unfortunately, it is a 2 1 loss. I completely forgot it was 2 1. I thought it was still 1 0, but you know, it is a 2 1 loss to Wimbledon. But I'll tell you what, we played a very good game there. And uh, it makes me excited for the rest of the season. We are simulating this game at home against Berry. Uh, it is the second team out, and another injury. Azevedo this time, but very well got a goal, which is always nice to see. And I completely forgot to take him out of the team <laughs> because, uh, god damn it, I'm gonna have to play someone else. Well, Azevedo is now out for four weeks. I mean, luckily I don't need him at the moment. He's in the second team and that's all he's in at the moment. But this game, I am going to play Salford City away. Did someone say Liam Dillon up front? Salford City against Grimsby Town. Peter Price looking in the middle. Lindstrom's coming in. That's actually a decent player to have in the box. White heads on. Le uh, Peter Price, Liam Dillon. Nah. Although White's had it back there. It's Liam Dillon! Nah, Yamaguchi makes the save for Salford. If Liam Dillon scores, you best believe I'm pulling out Get Low by Dylan Francis again. You best believe it. That song became pretty... Led well, I was going to say legendary. I don't know if it was legendary, but close enough on my channel for the amount of times I played it through Dylan Dillon scoring a goal. Here he is, Liam Dillon! Here's Toby Watson. He's stolen the ball. Price plays it through. It is Liam Dillon and it's still not in. <laughs> I need him to, I want him to score. Even if it's the only goal he scores in the entire series, I want him to score. Here goes Liam Dillon. Waiting for the run of Jackson. Brilliant run from Bradley Jackson. He's got the pace. He's got away. Crosses it in. White. Uh, trying to spectacular. It's Armstrong for Salford. Oh, I beg that's not a penalty. It's not, thank God for that. I thought he'd given a penalty then. Thomas Asante. It's Gaffney's ball in. Oh, Gislason, what a block, but you've kind of offended your own player. Uh -huh. Oh, how sad has it covered? Yeah, there we go. It's a nil nil draw away at the Peninsula Stadium. Away at Salford City. We had a lot of chances to, to put the game to bed, and in the end, we didn't even score any. But neither did they. It's another clean sheet for Kasim Al Saad. And it's nil-nil. So I just recorded this bit without realising that I paused the recording. Anyway, the other link I will leave in the description below as a separate link is to JB3 Sports Gaming as he is doing his Youth Edition series with Scunthorpe United. Again, I apologise if I didn't shout these out during the Bournemouth series. I don't know if I did or not. I don't think I did. So to anyone who's watching who it, like, is annoyed by that, then sorry. You know, I just... I don't know what well, I don't know what went on with the Bournemouth series. I don't think my head was in it, to be honest. Anyway, Grimsby Town against Scunthorpe United. So well, already clear of some of the defenders. Oh my god! I swear he's had like about four chances like that now in this one episode, and he's put them wide every time. Oh, Kasim, yes, Adikunde. I think it's the first time I'm using Eric Adikunde, the six foot seven left back, playing at right back, but still. That's a good corner. Butler into Van Veen. And it's Butler. And it's easily saved. Lindstrom. Very well. Oh, it's broken for... what Ref penalty. Yes. Toby Watson brought down in the box by Gilead. And it's going to be a penalty for Grimsby Town. I mean, that's just dirty, isn't it? Dirt. I mean, it was a complete accident. But it's Toby Watson. Oh, for God's sake. See, the thing is, right... I green, I green timed that, and it still didn't go where the thing was. I know, obviously, it's supposed to go in, like, the big circle, but I thought that was when you didn't time it, not when you green timed it, for flip's sake. Anyway, Toby Watson's ball in. Svensson's there. If Svensson scores a goal, 
I think the series ends there. I think that's just that's 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 mission complete. Forget forget trying to win the Champions League, trying to get Svensson to do something actually decent. Very well, down to. Um, I keep wanting to call him Isaac White. That's a play from the Port Vale series. Peter Price, ball in. Very well behind the goalkeeper. Like. <laughs> Adekunde. Rostam. Bradley Jackson. Set. How did Svensson keep that in? Okay, then. Watson looking to play a ball through to Jackson. Gilead? What? I thought Gilead was a striker. Was he? Where is he playing? Watson plays through Jackson. Here we go. Bradley Jackson. It's Bradley Jackson. Yes! Lovely stuff from Bradley Jackson. His first goal. To be fair, a lot of people who've scored, it's their first goal. Bradley Jackson, though. I, start, I gave him one start over Earth Guards in the last episode and he was well a hundred times better so he started every game that I've played in this episode and it's finally come up trumps for him he's finally got his goal a lo lovely shot as well to be fair keepers not saving that 1-0 Grimsby so well oh what a ball Peter Price uh, it was on his weaker foot but I'll tell you what though that was a very good very good ball over the top on his weaker foot as well from Masman very well Peter Price caught it well, to be fair. As Watson gets the ball in. Nadi Kunde's underneath it. That'd be a that'd be a decent person to have in the box, wouldn't it? Even better than Lindstrom. But now we've got a bit of a problem because Olamola is on the counter-attack here. He's got Rostom for company and he's done him easily there, to be fair. Olamola, Rostom! Lindstrom. White. Very well. Watson. Oh, come on! It's not even like Scunthorpe have got loads of players back. They literally just... They're th three, two or three defenders that leave back just seem to do the job every time. Go on, Adekunde. Go on, Adekunde. Go on, Adekunde. Yes, Adekunde. Oh, Kasim with the save. Cole Clough, he's messed that up, hasn't he? And <laughs> Svensson's taking it off his goalkeeper. McAtee. Oh, no, 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 no. Scunthorpe have not had an opening in this game or at least not one that I can remember and Ward has put them e well he's equalised god damn it and that's the end of the game just like that one all very very undeserved draw we should have won we should have won we should have won more than 1-0 and it's ended up 1-1 I don't know how that's happened but there you go that's football for you so annoyed man I'm so annoyed final game of this episode Swindon away from home I'm not expecting to win this at all because it's Swindon and we've won <laughs> so what how the flip do we lose at home to Berry and then we beat Swindon away what oh brilliant brilliant so for the next two months I only have two fit centre backs Lovely! Axel Gislason is out with a torn hamstring in training. I've also been offered the manager role at QPR. Uh, no, but thanks. Also as well guys, I asked you in the last episode um, where you wanted me to send my scouts, which countries you wanted me to send them to, and whilst I've been recording this episode, I've had a comment whilst I've been recording this episode, so thank you. Thank you to Harold Meller, 
who has suggested Brazil, Cameroon, and Canada. Now, I have already scouted Canada, but obviously I'll do it again. I'm not that bothered. I'll scout wherever. Um, but I've searched for a technically gifted player from Brazil, a winger from Cameroon, and any from Canada. And the reason I've done that is because um, I looked at like the guide for sort of where you're going to get the best position, like from best country, if you get me. You're going to find better te technically gifted players from Brazil, and you're going to find better wingers from Africa. It's Argentina and Brazil, you're going to find better technically gifted and wingers, and from Africa you're going to find better wingers and physically strong. So I've decided to search for technically gifted, winger and any. So there you go. I've also decided I'm going to call up Diego Montoya. He is a scout future star after all, and he looks pretty decent. We've also reached the month of November, which means I'm going to do a squad report. So here we go then with the squad report, and this is a man I've only just called up. Ezekiel Owasi, overall of 58. Tobias Thompson, overall of 52, he's gone up by 3. Kasim Alsard, overall of 60, he's gone up by 1. Alexander Svensson, overall of 64, he's gone up by 2. Frederick Clausen, overall of 55, he's gone up by 2. Eric Adekunde, overall of 56, he's gone up by 2. Lance Harrison, overall of 54, he's gone up by 3. Anton Jonsson, overall of 60, he's gone up by 1. Axel Gislason, overall of 58, he's gone up by 1. Wasim Rostom, overall of 59, he's gone up by 7. Joseph Henry, overall of 55. Jan Lindstrom, overall of 56, he's gone up by 2. Charles Roberts, overall of 56, he's also gone up by 2. Bradley Jackson, overall of 58, he's gone up by 4. Raul Azevedo, overall of 59, he's gone up by 2. For now, Pauletta, overall of 56, he's gone up by 2. Tobias Erstgaard, overall of 65, he's gone up by 3. Toby Watson, overall of 61, he's gone up by 2. Henry Allen, overall of 53, he's gone up by 2. Archie White, overall of 59, he's gone up by 2. Ezekiel Lawal, overall of 55, he's gone up by 2. Diego Montoya, overall of 63. Liam Dillon, overall of 55, he's gone up by 2. Peter Price, overall of 60, he's gone up by 3. Joel Lee, overall of 63, he's gone up by 3. Nicholas Martin, overall of 54, he's gone up by 1. Victor Pearson, overall of 52, he's gone up by 4. Franco Ronaldo, overall of 58, he's gone up by 1. And finally, Masmud Zeruel, overall of 49, he's gone up by 3. Diego Montoya is looking alright, he's 3 star 3 star which isn't too bad, he's not the fastest but obviously that can be trained now, and he's got decent ball control, decent dribbling, yeah he's looking pretty decent. And that guys is going to end off this episode of the Grimsby Town Youth Academy Legends, so if you guys enjoyed make sure to smash that like button down below, subscribe if you like what you see and you want to see more, and if you don't want to miss a video then make sure to hit that little bell next to subscribe button and you'll get notifications every time that I upload, unless you just press personalised then you only get a few, so I'd recommend pressing all. But anyway, until next time guys, thanks so much for watching, peace.